For over half a decade, Rolls-Royce have been designing and manufacturing the propulsion systems that power the UK's fleet of nuclear submarines. Each submarine is propelled by nuclear power. It's a pioneering technology developed by the world-class engineers and operational staff at Rolls-Royce Submarines. The submarine programme is absolutely critical for the defence of the UK. Rolls-Royce are the key supplier for the propulsion side of the submarine programme. They do everything from cradle to grave design, through to manufacture, through to in-service support and into disposal at the back end of that period. Nuclear requires the highest of standards and the highest of standards means you need the best of people. And the best of people means you get pride in what you do, pride in what you deliver. The fact that we've been able to deliver the continuous at sea deterrent for more than 50 years continuously is a real sense of pride to me and to everybody that works in this programme. To create that pipeline of young talent, Rolls-Royce has launched a Nuclear Skills Academy. Each year, 200 apprentices will join the academy and come away with a higher education qualification from the University of Derby, as well as real-life experience in the workplace at Rolls-Royce. With support from the Nuclear Advanced Manufacturing Research Centre, Derby City Council and the National College for Nuclear, the Skills Academy will prepare apprentices for a successful career in a growing industry. Danny is specialising in machining components for the nuclear reactors. She and her fellow students are paid a wage for the duration of their apprenticeships. I could have gone off and done uni and I wouldn't have been getting paid to do this. Uh, it's a completely different experience to anything I've had before and it's always nice to you know, start making a little bit of money and hopefully save for, for a house or to rent somewhere soon. Derby City Council have secured Rolls-Royce a specially equipped building for the academy, where students can kick-start their careers with quality learning in high-tech facilities. This is the home of Rolls-Royce's Nuclear Skills Academy. Students spend their first year here honing their practical and theoretical skills before heading off to get hands-on experience in Rolls-Royce's nuclear programme. Jack will come out with a BSc in Mechanical Engineering with Electronics, a Level 4 NVQ and no debt from tuition fees. But it's that hands-on learning which is life-changing. Come out with four years work experience in industry, additionally, and because of the different placements that you go through, you make a, a lot of networking throughout the entire business as well, and that greatly helps with the potential career paths you want to go down. We are still at university, so we get the best of both worlds. We get the university was still studying for a degree um, but at the same time it's your opportunity this is your apprenticeship you can go where you want to with it. Lee Warren is a Derbyshire lad who entered Rolls-Royce as an apprentice 33 years ago now he's helping recruit the next generation of homegrown talent. And not just homegrown but local with the intention of hopefully getting people to uh, put their roots down in the local area and, and, and stay here for a, for a long time, because our programmes are, are very long. So what's Rolls-Royce looking for in the new recruits? People who are you know, different thinkers, they're you know, not afraid to sort of speak out if they see something that, that they think should be done differently. Um, people who've got a very active mind, people who work very well together in teams. You don't have to be a scientist or engineer to get onto Rolls-Royce's apprenticeship scheme. There's loads of opportunities within Rolls-Royce to have experience in the more business-focused areas. Olivia applied when she was 22. She's come out with a set of qualifications, a salary and a job at Rolls-Royce. I previously worked as a teaching assistant for three years and decided to retrain and applied for the apprenticeship scheme in project management and here I am four years later with a full-time role as a project engineer within the submarines business. Working in the UK nuclear submarines business is absolutely fantastic. I wouldn't be sat here 33 years later still ostensibly in the same sort of project if it wasn't exciting every single day. If anyone thinking about applying, my advice would be just do it. I feel like you got to have a bit of an edge over all the graduates when you're applying for jobs because you have that work in industry. It is a fantastic company to work for. 